Wonka. <laughs> Oh, go, go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead, Big Grim. Uh, okay. Uh, my opinion from when we first did our initial reactions has not changed whatsoever. This is probably the most fun I've had at a theater this year. Like, in terms of just, like, I, <laughs> majesty is putting it, all, like, on the, the shelf <laughs> no, no no the majesty of the movie i just mm. felt like it was enchanting it was magical to say the least i felt like it was as i felt like i like it was going to like broadway for a second not that quality of like you know acting and performing but at the same time it felt like going to see a musical again and i am a sucker for musicals i love them there's only like a handful that i truly do not like but at the same time this truly felt like a Willy Wonka musical. It, it's like what we got of like the original with Gene Wilder. And let's just sprinkle in a few extra songs in here, which I thought greatly enhanced the movie. I appreciated a lot of the characters because of it. And I listen, if you guys keep me going, I'm just well, going to keep listen, gushing about this movie. <laughs> you can, you can, you can argue and say that this is sort of kind of like a prequel. For this movie, right? That's exactly what it is. It is so a prequel. With that being said, let's let's talk about Timothy Chalamet, right? Yeah. Our star, yeah. our Willy Wonka. Yeah. Would you put him up there with Gene Wilder? I would put him right below. Well, okay. I'd definitely yeah. put him above Johnny Depp. I'll yeah, say that at I least. think that's the. <laughs> all right. Well, that's, that's, that, that's the starting point let's, right there. All right. Let's get this out of the way. All right. With all that, because we have talked about it at length, Johnny Depp is not the one to blame for uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That He's not Tim Burton. It True. was Tim Burton. Regardless. Yeah. Yes. Having said that, I would put Timothy Chalamet right next to Gene Wilder. Hmm. I would and agree with that. I would agree with that. He did. Uh, he did a phenomenal, a phenomenal job because. At first, I was like, ah, they're going to put this little pretty boy. And then all of a sudden, it's like, Not oh, listen, okay. The the second that we found out about this oh so long ago, and I said, Timothy, and they said, Timothy Chalamet is going to be Wonka. And you were one of the first. I was like, I don't know. And I said, hot damn, this is going to be the yep. one. He's yep. it. Absolutely. You son of a bitch, I'm in. He is. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, 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 exactly. This is the first film or anything I've ever seen seen him in i didn't know any of his prior work i knew him I you saw Dune. yeah i still have to see the first Dune movie oh, oh really? boy as do i that's mm-hmm. another grim show him the door <laughs> good night everybody lads come with me <laughs> um but as far as a comparison you can't compare to the original classic gene wilder that's the de facto willy wonker but he did the part justice he mm-hmm. was really good in the lead role as Wonka, as Willy Wonka, and he really took command of this movie mm-hmm. and took it in every direction, every entertaining direction, I should say, that he did. So I did. He did a great job overall. I thought, yeah, I, I he with the role he was given, he did a great job. He brought the energy, like he made you feel happy, like his jovial nature really yeah. just like brought you into it. Um, did a great job with the singing and the choreography. Although the musical pieces were great. My one thing about this movie, it's not so much him, it's just that the direction that this movie decided to go in is that this really just should not have been billed as a, a prequel to Gene Wilder's movie because this was not the Gene Wilder Willy Wonka. Well, it was not. It, he was see, too, he, he, like, Gene Wilder had, like, that low key manic side to him that maybe he's going to let these kids <laughs> die, maybe he won't. Type right. Of nature. And why is that? Saw, this guy right here is in his early 20s while Gene Wilder was in his 60s. I yeah, but it, it was, like, two completely different people. Like, no, he, he was a little, Johnny. He, he was a little, like, goofy crazy, but not, like, but I don't know thing. what to think of this guy crazy. No, Johnny, you know that's what I mean? the thing, though. It is the it is a different flavor of manic though because you do have like the happy go lucky manic mm-hmm. that like it's just a kid who's had like too much sugar versus someone who's just like kooky and crazy and is just a little angry at the world. Think about it. Forty years later, 
right? I, Forty years happens. later, he's fifty years oh. later. I yeah. guess <laughs> whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. when you compare the two, it's just like something hurt Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka. It's like what happened to you in between this prequel movie and this movie that like really set you over the well, edge. Well, that's the thing. Uh, we kind of saw that a little bit in Wonka, where you have quote unquote three chocolate tycoons literally team up to try to take down this one up and coming <laughs> kid who is lapping them in every single facet True. of both their business and their product. But, you know, end, end of the day, you know, the, the, the hero won, they lost, and everything. He was still himself by the end of the movie. You know what I mean? Like, he wasn't, like, no. Gene Wilder mode, like, slightly depressed. and well, Not depressed, but, like, slightly no, yeah. unhinged. <laughs> you no, know? I, I get it. So, Again. I don't know. I, I think this movie just should have been the start of its own Wonka timeline it could be well that that's the thing i even though we did say that like we feel that this is a prequel what if it was a reboot and what if we do get you know walk like after like okay wonka is established now now he's out there now he has to continue with this and what if by the end of that movie he does realize i can't do this anymore I need to find someone to take over. Someone who is very similar to me and someone who had that hope when I was younger yep. and go back to this movie. I agree with that. Full circle. Mm. Done. That's, wh that's what it is. It's yeah. basically a full circle movie. Movies or at least make it happen. It should be a full circle movie because you don't know how he's going to react in, in 40 years. Just like your 10-year-old self is not going to agree with some of the things that your 30-year-old self did. Mm -hmm. Right? So... With that said, let's talk about somebody else in this movie. Yeah. Let's talk about the guy who does the little dance. Oh, the, the, the little guy. The little guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> our, our, our friend. What's his name? Hugh Grant. 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 Uh, yeah, our friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we, see, here's the thing. Uh -huh. We talk to him every weekend, but yep. Um, yep. because, yep. you know, he has an accent, we don't really understand what he's saying. So. That is... I'm sure that's there's a reason that for that. Would you, would you say he's basically playing his real life sarcastic self as an orange midget? Oh, he what? Is. we don't say midget anymore. Little people. Uh, yeah. oh, excuse me, my apologies. I think, oh as my a, god. As an orange uh, little person. So. We, we started this year off with Hugh Grant in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and he was he was definitely himself in that movie for, yeah. <laughs> in a lot of ways, and he was just yeah. having fun with it. I think the same kind of goes here too. He was just having fun with the role, and you know. He, 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 yeah, he had like that that level of sarcasm to him, which was attached to his character. But at the same time, it was Hugh Grant being Hugh Grant. Yes, but it, was made, so. it made for a very funny character. I, I am, loved him in this movie. I, I loved him too, and I'm kind of upset at the fact that he wasn't in the movie as much. Yeah, I was as I thought that, he would yeah, be. I, you I, know, I, I thought that he would be here like you know, at least half the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he came in what? late in the movie, and I Halfway agree with, into it. Yeah. I agree with you. He should have had more screen time for sure. Yeah, because he had what he had his intro scene, which was like halfway into the into the movie, and I then know. another crucial scene like on the boat, which was like kind of halfway towards the end of the movie, in, in between that first scene and the, in the end, and then that well, was when it. he was stealing the cho when he was stealing the chocolate from yeah uh, right. We and also got his uh, backstory of him sleeping on the job, right, which was pivotal. Let's be honest, at least for his character, Drew. Yeah, so I mean, he had a decent role. I think, I think yeah. with the the when we watched the trailer, I feel like it gave an impression that he was going to have a much more oh, yeah. integrated role oh, in the yeah. whole story, possibly, yeah. yeah, or at least get introduced earlier in the, in the in the plot. I, I will agree, the trailer did make it seem like he would be in it like a little bit more than what we got. But mm. honestly, I, I guess I'm on an island all my own on this one. I felt like he was in there the like a good amount. Well, what we did get of him was great. Yeah. yeah, I think, like, uh, just collectively, I think we just all thought, like, hey, we were expecting, like, an extra scene or two, mm -hmm. at, you know, at the very least. Did, but did you didn't, didn't break the movie by any means. Yeah. Did you love his chemistry with Timothy Chalamet? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I like this chemistry with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't, he didn't talk to anyone. It was just basically him and Wonka. No, at the end of the movie. Did he right. talk to the, like, the priest at all? Did he have, I feel like he had... He had a no, not the priest. He talked to... Um, the girl. The girl, and when... Um, Oh man, he talked to uh, what's his face? Yeah, let's go on. Wh right after, right after he got out of the uh, the tank, right after he he saved Wonka uh, and what's yeah, her yeah, face? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, sure. So yes, yeah, uh, a whole lot of chemistry with 
two lines. Well, he was just a chaotic good, like, all throughout. So, like, anybody you put him on, in, in, like, share that is very true. Yes. Him, he's going to be great. As someone who is also chaotic good, I will acknowledge <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys... Did you maybe it was just me? Did you guys go into this movie with low expectations? Like, Absolutely not. No. I put this on a pedestal. Hell no. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Absolutely. I went in there thinking this better be a goddamn fucking amazing movie. <laughs> yes. Or else I am so going to roast it. And yes. guess what? I was We're not roasting it. No. I, I wasn't expecting a bad movie. I was just expecting to be a little like cringed by the you know the over over jovial nature of uh, Timothy I, Chalamet <laughs> and but no, but at the end of the day I came out thinking like oh this was just a really delightful family movie maybe he was uh, to me he wasn't the same guy as uh as, as the original Wonka with uh Gene it, Wilder but you know what it was it still made for a delightful Christmas flick for you know like a non-Christmas Christmas movie for for family it, it was yeah. definitely released the perfect time of year I'll say it I I I, I see a man on the island alone here but I went in with low expectations but it, to me one of the biggest surprises of the year because I remember I wasn't caught by hook line and sinker when we did the trailer review on this movie and me and i just went in to see i'll even admit on the panel that i'm not the biggest wonka or willy wonka fan especially from my last experience with charlie and the chocolate factory like the most enjoyment i got was a parody of it on an episode of the office with michael scott dressed up as wonka and he did a whole golden ticket bit but i enjoyed this movie so much that i feel like i said in the short um, there was something for everybody, yeah. musical or comedy. They even had its dark moments, like the bomb on the boat. Mm-hmm. So much. Yeah. Um, and the, the the humor was pretty good too. The humor was great. Yeah. Although I feel I feel like the like what's his name uh, Keegan Michael Key a great freaking oh role for him. That was God. I love this character. I was gonna bring that up next. I, I I just have a slight feeling though that some people will look at that and be like, oh, you know, like the the fat jokes were kind of tasteless, but you know, because. They, I don't they, think so. I no. don't think they were tasteless. No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I I laughed at it because like it, it, I just saw that and I remember like the the backlash towards like Fat Thor in Endgame. Right, that, but there's a difference here though. The difference is that he was getting paid off with chocolate, and what was he doing with the right. chocolate? Yeah. He was yeah. eating it, right? Also, so John, eventually, if you're gonna eat so much right. chocolate, you're gonna gain. And some he was self aware of it. He's like, guys, I think I just gained 150 pounds in two weeks. That's those types of jokes. Were we great. can also break this down too because this is an introduction of a brand new character. We know barely anything about you could do whatever yep. you want with this versus thor who has been established for True. over 80 some odd years right now at least in the comics how often has he been fat in the comics not much there you go <laughs> that's o- it almost never yeah. almost never and, uh-huh. the, and, and let's let, let, let's you know not uh mince words here the ladies were going to that those movies to see his him shirtless yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. yeah fair you know so the fair disappointment there, there's some I, guys I too that. that wanted to see him yeah, absolutely yeah sure sure i think there's everybody everybody yeah. wanted to see him sir sure yeah. yeah but anyway anyway yeah back to back so to wonka. anyway yes no uh wonka was great loved it uh i'm uh, apologize to you guys in the theater because I saw you guys looking my way as I was enjoying myself way too much in this movie. I'm like, oh no, I'm the one making the scene <laughs> in the Dude, theater. Uh, you were like reacting to this like it was like a Marvel movie. I, <laughs> like, but you know what though? I, I agree with that. I, yeah. I, 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 in, inside, I felt like this was old school Marvel where it's like the first time you're watching Iron Man, you're like, right. you're was, waiting it, for it was an origin yeah. story. It was an exciting story. It was and, an origin story. Yeah, and yeah. it was great. And it was totally worth, you know, whatever you're going to pay to go watch it. If you want a fun movie, totally agree. You should go see it. Absolutely. And yeah. and and the movie uh, was giving me with all the magic. I was getting Harry Potter vibes, but that wasn't a bad thing. I think, you know, I definitely felt like Hogwarts or Don Don Don. Am I saying that right? Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. Um, the way with the interaction with the people with all the shops, uh. That's not getting cut out, I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Um, you did your best. Oh, uh, some Peter Pan mixed in there, but <laughs> I think Pancakes is just listing off every movie that has magic in it. Yeah, how? <laughs> Hold it was on. so magical. Uh-huh. How? Yeah. How is it? How Peter Pan? How? Yeah. Like, yeah. I think just like the kid focused nature of it, like his uh, little sidekick. Mm-hmm. You know, like the, no, I'm not the, saying it was never land, uh, but like it's candy. Wonk, I Wonka, get it. Wonka still had that childlike that uh, wonder, yeah, wonder and innocence to him. Uh, no, I, I get it. I, I see what you're saying, but uh, I think it was like like Warner Brothers. This is Warner Brothers, right? I believe. Yes. Yeah. So, I think yeah. it was like I felt like it was like Warner Brothers trying to be Disney as much as it could. 
<laughs> try to like capture that like uh you know that 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 fantastic feeling uh. as you were going along but overall enjoyable movie great I mean, movie if so especially if you have kids you know during this time of the year it's, it's like i said it's, it's like the best non-christmas christmas movie you could see right now so mm-hmm. have at it you'll, you'll have a great time that's true have a mr bean as the priest oh, oh yeah oh yeah roman atkinson great, great cameo so it. you know what i that was more than a cameo this, yeah a little bit more but this was my problem with the movie hmm. him yeah. atkinson was your problem yeah he I wasn't so. bad. And no, he wasn't bad, but I just... Okay, even with, like, the villains of the movie, they kept up the energy of it, and they didn't really drag anything down. But with Rowan Atkinson's very dry humor, which I love and appreciate, I just felt like it was a little bit too much peanut butter dipped into this chocolate. You see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> but the... But, the f- <laughs> go finish it. Go but regardless, though, yeah, I just felt like his... A uh, brand of energy in here just wasn't meshing well with the movie. That's all. Love him. Love him as a comedian. Love Mr. Bean. But I, yeah, like I said, I think like he was just out of place with this. This the funeral scene with him was hilarious. That was great. Oh yeah, I, that was absolutely great. Yes. Yeah. Now, the, like I said, the humor was great for sure. I always appreciate a British man screaming "Run away!" while running away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is though What's about this movie? I wasn't a fan. Of the soundtrack, not the musical form. Oh, Everything okay. in between, I was just like, eh. I think I understand. It like, was okay. The score, yeah, I the score it? itself okay. was okay. The musical bits, great. Okay. The dancing and everything, I thought it was awesome. But everything in between is just, I felt like it should have been more. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe I went there thinking that it should have been more. But at the same time, though. It was okay. We did say earlier you did put this movie on a pedestal. I did. I did. So I did. there is well, that's, that. Again, that's why I'm saying maybe I put it in such a high regard that maybe it should have been perfect all around. And you know what? It it almost was. Yeah. yeah I didn't realize how big of a fan of Wonka you were. Like It's it, not like, that I was a big fan. Before like, this movie. Okay. I'm going to so, be honest. I think I hyped up Spade when I found it because I'm like, yo, there's a Wonka biopic. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's so, go. Bio, so a little back, <laughs> a a little back story to everyone, right? So when we first started this channel back in um, January of 2023, mm-hmm. out of nowhere, Big Grim sends us a thing while we were recording, and he was like, yo, they're making a Willy Wonka movie. I was like, shut up. No, they're not. Because I'm not saying that Willy Wonka was a great, the greatest movie ever, but I enjoyed it, right? Yeah. I even enjoyed, yes, I enjoyed Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It wasn't the greatest, but it was good. Listen, it was okay. I'm not going to ridicule you for that. That's fine. These two, you got to worry that, about. I, I, I'm not worried. Anyway, so the point is, is that I, I enjoyed those movies. Mm-hmm. I liked the concept. The concept was great for it. And now they're making another movie of him younger and how he created his chocolate factory and whatnot. He, right? His vast empire. Right, his vast chocolatey empire that <laughs> scans the world. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So now, when he first told us, I was like, no way. I'm sitting there. While we were doing everything, I was like searching. I was like, oh, my God. We were looking at pictures. I'm telling you, if I find this video, I'm posting it. I'm (laughs) posting this. If I find this video, I'm posting it, just so you guys can all see. I'm going to look at something real quick, because I looked this up earlier, and I'm like, oh, that's actually uh, really interesting. One. Uh, Uh, It has... uh, Timothy Chalit in it. He's playing Willy Wonka. We're gonna have Rowan Atkinson in it. Oh um, shit! Yeah, Mr. Bean, Timothy Chalamet, Bean. Rowan Atkinson, Matt yes, Lucas, Olivia wrong. Coleman, Hugh, Hugh Grant, Grant is, be in it. is playing either a Oompa Loompa or maybe all of them, depending on how they did it from uh, Wait, the who? one. Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant is gonna play the Oompa Loompas. Either a Oompa. He's credited as Oompa Loompa. I don't know if it's one Oompa Loompa. Or everyone, like how they did it in like the uh, Johnny Depp movie. Keegan Michael Key is in it also. Yeah, bro. Hey, it's gonna be great. I, I, yeah, I kind of regret. I kind of regret putting uh, Oppenheimer on over Wonka because this, this kind of this looks good. This looks really good, guys. Like on paper, this looks fantastic. If you Google him, you'll actually get like Timothy Chalamet in the Wonka, uh. Like in the hat, in the coat, and everything, he looks fucking great. Gene Wilder would be fucking proud of him right now. Would be terrible. That's cool. Look at this boy. Look at him. He's fantastic.
See, that's but we were all so we were all so excited for it. And then we found out that Hugh Grant is going to play an Oompa Loompa. We were like, what the? Yeah. This is going to great, be great and amazing. Mm-hmm. So since February or January, I have been waiting for this movie. Yeah. And finally, we get to see it. Uh-huh. And it did not disappoint at there you all. Go. At all. It just, it's a type of movie that you're going to leave the theater just feeling happier. Oh, <laughs> right. You know, right. like it's just like, I feel like we need more types of movies. Like we that. do. Because, <laughs> yeah. because this whole year, every single movie that came out, was either disappointing or the ones that were good were it, sad stories. Yeah. yeah. So, or like it just met expectations. Right. Yeah. yeah. Which, like, yeah, that's a good thing, but it's always nice for something to excel at your yeah. expectations. Like Marvel movies, for the most part, leaving the theater, you just end up being kind of pissed or disappointed or bored. Yeah. And then the only good Marvel movie we got this year was like the most depressing thing ever with Guardians 3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It was yeah. still a great, great. movie, yeah. but like you didn't feel happy or leaving the theater. Someone had to die to make it that good. <laughs> Animals had to die. Animals had to die. <laughs> it's terrible. So That's like horrible. this type of movie, was, it was, all, yeah, it was like light CGI stakes. animals. But yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, no, no raccoons or otters were actually harmed in making harmed that movie. Harmed in uh, the but, film of this tale. But the nature of Wonka was just, you know, you, you just enjoyed every scene. Like, mm-hmm. you know, as if you were enjoying candy like you know and yeah. i want to like that movie like it made me want to try his candy just like the original oh. one wanted me to make uh, that and that was something that was wrong with the the tim burton movie too is i did not care for any of the candy that i saw in that movie yep. the original wonka and this wonka movie like i wanted to eat the candy that yep. was seen on screen listen and i was yeah. enjoying the and movie why is such. that because they were modeled after the originals mm-hmm. from the gene wilder that's movie. it yep. and yeah that's it there was one thing i understand it was a new thing in the original movie but if we had a hint of an everlasting gobstopper in this one, I, that's it. Ten stars. Don't care. Double all the stars. I do Double wish. Everything. I do wish we had the uh, the blueberry candy that actually blows somebody up into a big boo ball. But no. <laughs> but having said that, though, I am happy that they did include somehow some way of Wonka just messing stuff up because obviously the girl turning into a blueberry that's like oh well i added too much of this or like someone poisoned the candy or something so i i'm glad that we got a throwback to that of them at least explaining like okay no not everything's perfect right things can be messed up oh when he got sabotaged by the three chocolate owners there yep. you go it's kind of like a bob ross thing like happy accidents only <laughs> well <laughs> like, <laughs> i i don't know johnny do you want to turn into a giant blueberry no but i'm just saying like that that's nature not of, a happy like, accident anymore you can make a mistake and it's like hey it's okay like that's like but that was like the whole nature of the movie that made you feel good by yes, the time yes. you left. we'll, we'll so. just take johnny down to the juicing room <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah. okay so any other thoughts? I love this, this movie. I love it so other much. Other than that, other than that. Oh wow, I have to think about it now. Uh, uh, this movie was great. <laughs> if, if you enjoy your serotonin levels, just yeah, yes. boost them, boost them with this movie. Oh That's yes, it. absolutely. I yeah. say absolutely go see it. There's a little something for everybody. Laugh, music, great cast. Um, the visuals are amazing. I love, yeah. I love the magic that was done by by Willie. It was so great overall. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So with that said. Listen, guys, write a comment, throw up a like, subscribe, share the video, do tell, something. Tell us your favorite brand of chocolate. Social media down in the link below. Yep. All of them. Mm-hmm. Instagram, TikTok, all that fun stuff. Yep. So with that said, guys, let's roll those credits. Roll, roll credits. credits.